Well, good morning, everyone. How are y'all doing today? I am blessed and highly favored, and I give credit to the Most High Christ Child, who is my whole entire life. Man. So I am out here and about on this good Friday morning. About to get my three miles in. I was about to say right quick, but it ain't that quick. <laughs> Maybe like an hour. Depending on how I feel, I might run, walk, run, walk. Um, man, it feels so good this morning. God is great. And we have to see him in everything. In spite of how our lives look. Um, I got a text this morning from Dr. David Anderson. And I get it every Friday. He sends it at... Uh, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it said, um, people saw Sarah as barren, but God saw her as a mother of nations, and people saw David as a shepherd, but God saw him as a king. Oh, glory. And just because you see yourself as the way you are, God sees you as somebody that's more powerful than that. You have purpose on your lips. You have purpose in your mind, in your heart. You're going somewhere, sis. You're going somewhere, brother. Don't give up. Hold on. Just the way, just because you see yourself in a different kind of way right now today. I heard a message say the other day, hallelujah. You know, we got to switch our mindsets. We got to shift our thinking. We pray that God will do stuff right now. And we say, you know, he's an on-time God. And he may not come when He wanna, when we want him to, but we know that he's right on time. Guess what? She said, even today. I'm sorry. She said, even tomorrow. If it don't happen today, even tomorrow, it could be happening right now. Whatever that may be, whatever you have been praying and seeking the Lord for and to do, he is doing it even tomorrow. Hallelujah. Well, what if you don't see it today? Even tomorrow is happening. Don't look down on your situation. Look, this is, this is speaking through me and to me. Because we don't know. We don't know what the Lord has in store for us. Because he's the author and finisher of our faith. And as long as we are faith-based, as long as we are believing in the unseen, believing in the promise, he can do anything but fail. Abraham believed him when he told him to go. He didn't ask no questions. He didn't, uh, he didn't give him specific instructions. He just left. Glory be to your name, Father. Man, I was telling somebody, I was telling my pastor last week at Bible study. He told Abraham to go. No questions. That's the same thing happened to me around this time last year. The Lord told me to go. He told me, pack up your stuff and get the heck out of Dodge. All right, good morning. Pack up your stuff and go from Maryland to California. Ooh, and let me tell you how I didn't know what was next. And here I am. Here we are, because I started this journey July 22nd, 2020, during a pandemic. We still in a pandemic, ain't we? <laughs> we just not as locked down. But during a lockdown period, I was on my way over here to do the will of God. Not for me, but for him. And that started this YouTube channel. I started this as a vlog. Oh, glory be to your name, Father. Look where I'm at. A hundred and some videos later. Because <laughs> I believe. He had to get me out of my comfort. And I just followed suit. But Lord, if this is your will, let your will be done. Last June, I started a Bible study. We just made our one-year anniversary. 
YouTube about to make their one year anniversary. He got me all over the place. I had took a hiatus from Facebook and Instagram. Man, I'm sharing the good news on there too. Everybody, somebody need to hear what the Lord is saying. He's saying some good stuff today, especially for those people who don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you change. They don't want to see you transform. God is doing something. He's doing a new thing. And we got to trust and believe in the process because we don't know what's next. I walked away from comfort to be uncomfortable. I came over here, joined the church. I preached two sermons already. I'm a teacher in Bible study every Tuesday night. God is doing some great things. Like he knew, he knows. Not like, he knows. He had to send me over here on purpose to fulfill all the promise. Oh, glory be to your name, Father. So I just want to seal this word and encourage somebody. Do not give up. You don't know what's over the rainbow. You don't know what's even tomorrow. <laughs> oh, glory. So may the Lord bless you. May he teach you. Oh, did you hear that? May he bless you. May he teach you. Oh, that's a new one. I didn't know I was going to say that. May he bless you. May he teach you and keep you. And may heaven forever shine upon you. Be blessed.